In this lecture, we are going to learn Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. We are going to state and prove the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. So let me write the statement. So if u bar and v bar are two vectors in an inner product space, so this is the inner product space, v is the inner product space, then we can show that the magnitude of the inner product mod u bar v bar inner product is always less than or equal to norm of u bar multiplied by norm of v bar. So let us see how to prove it now. So what I will do is when I'm given two vectors u bar and v bar, we are going to consider another vector. That another vector is t into u bar plus v bar. So this t is some real number. It's a scalar. We are going to consider this vector. And now then I'm going to take the norm of this vector. We know that norm of any vector is always greater than or equal to zero, right? So norm of any vector alpha bar, suppose alpha is a vector, then it is always greater than or equal to zero, right? This is always true. So this means the square of this will also be what? Greater than or equal to zero. So the square is also greater than or equal to zero. Now we know in inner product space that if I find norm u bar square, it is nothing but inner product of u bar with u bar itself. So what will be the norm t u bar plus v bar whole square? It is going to be inner product of t u bar plus v bar comma t u bar plus v bar and that is greater than or equal to zero. Now I will open this inner product and open this inner product. I'm going to get t u bar with t u bar inner product t u bar t u bar plus t u bar with v bar in a product t u bar comma v bar plus v bar with t u bar and last is v bar v bar v bar this is also greater than or equal to zero this t will come outside the inner product first t will come outside the inner product the second t will also come outside the inner product and we get a t square inner product will be of u bar v bar u bar then here this t will come outside this is called as a homogeneity property of the inner product then here also t will come outside the inner product and inside i will get v bar u bar and here i'm going to get v bar v bar as it is and this is greater than or equal to zero but we know that inner product v u bar is the same as inner product u v bar so everything remains the same and this is also the same v bar v bar and this is t square into inner product u bar u bar plus right and then i see that this is coming two times so i will write in the next step i will write t square inner product u bar u bar plus t into two times inner product u bar v bar plus in the product v bar v bar is greater than or equal to zero so now this looks like a quadratic equation what is that quadratic equation the quadratic equation looks like alpha into t square plus beta into t plus this looks like delta is greater than or equal to zero right where we all know what is alpha beta and delta alpha is nothing but so let me write here where alpha is nothing but inner product u bar u bar beta is nothing but two inner product u bar v bar and delta is inner product v bar v bar so this quadratic equation is greater than or equal to zero here i have this quadratic equation star so if i know that a quadratic equation star alpha t square plus beta t plus delta is greater than or equal to zero then the discriminant delta has to be less than or equal to zero okay this is a property of quadratic equations that if the quadratic equation is greater than or equal to zero then that quadratic term then the delta must be less than or equal to zero so who is delta in this term so this means beta square 
minus 4 alpha delta has to be less than or equal to 0. Okay, this is the discriminant of the, the of that quadratic equation. So let us substitute what is the value of beta, alpha and delta in this inequality. So beta is 2 inner product uv square. So 2 inner product u comma v bar the whole square minus this is beta square minus 4 alpha and delta is less than or equal to 0. What is alpha? Alpha is in a product u v u v u u bar u bar sorry and delta is in a product v bar v bar and this is less than or equal to 0. So when I expand it now when I go ahead so this will become what? So this will become 4 inner product u bar v bar whole square minus 4 inner product u bar u bar into inner product v bar v bar is less than or equal to 0. So cancel the 4. So this means that inner product u bar v bar square is this term negative term will go on that side is less than or equal to inner product u bar u bar into inner product v bar v bar and so I take the positive square roots so when I take the positive square roots what do I get if I take the positive square root of this term so the positive square root of this term inner product u bar v bar is less than or equal to the positive square root of inner product u bar u bar into the positive square root of inner product v bar v bar and this is the square here and when I take the square root of this to the positive square root of this quantity it will become mod of inner product u bar v bar is less than or equal to square root of inner product u bar u bar is norm u square so norm u bar square which I mentioned above in the inner product norm v bar v bar is inner product v bar v bar is norm v bar square so let me write the norm v bar square and therefore what we are getting is that in a product of u bar v bar is magnitude is less than or equal to norm u bar into norm v bar so this is the cauchy schwartz inequality that we were actually waiting for now we know that uh, so let me write a small result of, from that so if you take mod of alpha is less than beta then we know that this is the same thing to say that minus beta is less than or equal to alpha is less than or equal to beta so our cauchy schwartz inequality which is mod of u bar v bar less than or equal to norm u bar norm v bar will now become what so here this person is playing the role of alpha so it means that inner product u bar v bar it will be between two numbers one number is negative and other is positive this is your beta so i'm writing negative of norm u bar into norm v bar and here i have norm u bar into norm v bar so this inequality tells us that inner product always lies between two numbers the two numbers are norm u bar v bar product and minus norm u bar v bar product okay so this is the result of this cauchy schwarz inequality